Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to before here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Alvis of FV601 Saladin. This vehicle was a six-wheeled armor car developed by Crossley Motors and later manufactured by Alvis. Designed in 1954, it replaced the AEC armored car in service with the British Army from 1958 onward. The vehicle weighed 11 tons, offered a top speed of 72 km per hour, and had a crew of three. Saladins were noted for their excellent performance in desert conditions and found favor uh, with a number of Middle Eastern armies accordingly. They were armed with a 76mm low pressure, pressure rifle, a gun which fired the same ammunition as mounted on the FV-101 Scorpion. The Saladins also spawned a armored personnel carrier counterpart, the Alvis uh, Sarsen. So the uh, Alvis Saladin, or uh, Saladin, a very interesting vehicle for sure. Uh, it's you know, our really been a while since we've done a, a, a you know UK kind of Cold War modern warfare type vehicle. Um, so really cool. It's uh, seen service in a lot of wars: uh, the Six Day War, Vietnam War, uh, the Lebanese Civil War, and um, a bunch of other uh, smaller, lesser known wars. Uh, but you know, has seen quite a bit of uh, service nonetheless. It was produced from 1958 to 1972, and a number built was 1,177 of them. And of course, it's used by a variety of other countries. Um, however, the uh, United Kingdom was the kind of the founder and I guess the uh, main operator of the vehicle itself. Um, anyways, the uh, vehicle itself, really cool design and um, pretty interesting vehicle nonetheless. Very interesting three-wheeled vehicle. Don't see too many of those. Anyways, I want to give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this video possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you guys can donate a small amount every month and help me out personally with the channel and just everything for me in general. So uh, feel free to check it out. Um, there's a cool benefits for becoming a Patreon supporter. Um, so again, check it out if you're interested. Of course, it's optional, uh, but it does help me out. So uh, feel free to check it out if you are interested. Um, anyways, going ahead and taking a look at the um, Alvis Saladin, uh, really interesting design to say the very least. So starting off with, we have the main gun here, which was a 76 millimeter, kind of more of a rifle, I guess, um, like an anti-tank rifle type deal. It wasn't a very powerful gun. I don't think it had too much penetration power, but I mean, you know, still a 76 millimeter, even you know, a little bit of you know lower penetration, it still is pretty you know, cool, pretty crazy to see that size of gun on an armored car, especially one for its size here. Um, it's a pretty small vehicle, so it's a little tricky to make. Uh, the One of the things too is also is that the hull and the turret kind of flow together really well, so it does look a little bit derpy, that, but this is supposed to be a, a turret up on top here. Um, that was one of the main things I kind of messed around with, and I couldn't really get something that I really liked and was accurate enough, so I had to stick with this. Uh, we have the side, uh, basically mirrors here on both sides, driver's um, hatch here, viewport, all that stuff be located right there. Um, the kind of main hull in here and the turret itself up on top, two hatches, um, optional machine gun you can add here, um, but I did, I'm not going to be doing it in the tutorial just because I felt it looked too busy up here on the top. Uh, smoke grenade dispensers on both sides, some, you know, uh, basically like some gear boxes on the side, um, going in the back here, hatch and just, you know, the, you know, various little, uh, you know, back little detailings over the engine compartment, uh, vents across a brake light. Um, I believe this was probably the muffler. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but it, that's what it looked like. And just the back detailing back here, nothing real fancy about it. Um, overall, that's pretty much the Alvis Saladin, a really interesting looking vehicle and our uh, first UK vehicle in quite some time. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and move into the uh, tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer 1. Alrighty guys, so getting started with our first layer, we'll be going ahead and starting off with layer 1. For layer 1, we want to place down two nether brick stairs that are going to be going ahead and uh, upside down, uh, back to back, just like this. It's going to be start here of the left front wheel. We then want to go ahead and take our stone brick slabs. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, and, or sorry, my bad, one stone brick top slab, followed by an iron trap door, stone brick top slab, and then again another brick uh, upside down stair and another upside down stair coming off that stair. As you can see here, the wheels stick out a little bit more further from the axle. That's because the front's going to be up here. So just take that into account. This right here is going to be the front. After that's all done there, we want to go ahead and then take our um, 
narrow brick stairs, we're gonna go ahead and go basically uh, back and do the same thing again. So we're gonna go ahead and leave a space of one and place down another uh, two stairs back to back, upside down like that for the back here. Same thing over here, like that. Uh, in between these two stairs right here, the first narrow brick stairs, we're gonna place down again, two stone brick top steps together and an iron trap door in between. We're then gonna go ahead and skip a narrow space and do the same thing again. So two narrow brick stairs back to back like this. Again, a stone brick top slab across, iron trap door, stone brick top slab, and a nether brick upside down stair, upside down stair behind it. So it looks something kind of like this from up above so far, the front being up here and the back back here. So just like that. Anyways, continuing on, coming off this iron trap door here, we're going to place down one and two. Uh, nether, or sorry, dark oak with top slab is back, followed by a zombie head on the end here. We're also going to go ahead and go to both of these um, nether brick stairs on the back. We're going to place down a sign and a wooden trap door like this for kind of like the fender mud flap type um, design that kind of comes back like that. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer one. With that, let's move on to layer two. All right, guys, moving on to layer two. For layer two, we're going to start off by taking some uh, nether brick stairs, and we're just going to place down two nether brick stairs basically back to back on top of all the upside down nether brick stairs. So we're just going to go ahead and go around to all the wheels here and just go ahead and place down the stairs like this back to back on top of them. And we'll have all of our uh, wheels kind of complete. So just like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to our axles. And on top of each one of these um, iron trap doors, we're going to go ahead and place down some um, of these anvils. We're then going to place down a cobblestone wall on the two stone brick top steps of both sides of the anvil like that for all of our axles. Going up here to the front, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair. Come off this anvil, followed by a dark oak wood top slab to both sides. Also coming off these two um, narrow brick stairs here in the front, we're going to place down a wooden trap door on both sides for part of the fender. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to take our green stained clay and we want to place down a row of three after the cobblestone walls and the anvil on both sides, followed by a dark oak wood top slab on both sides. We're then going to go ahead and repeat the same thing again back here in this section. Um, so uh, this time it's actually going to be uh, two rows of three of green stained clay and then again in between these um, air brick stairs here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab on both sides. Continuing on in between these uh, stairs here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood, uh, or sorry, a green stained clay block. So a green stained clay block coming off the anvil, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair. On the side of this dark oak wood, dark oak wood upside down stair, we're to place down a dark oak wood corner stair, followed by an additional upside down stair back, come off this green stained clay block on both sides, so you get something that kind of looks like that. After that's done, also coming off these narrow brick stairs, on top of the wooden trap doors, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on both sides like that. After that's all complete, that's going to do it for layer two. And with that, we can move on to layer three. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer. We'll be going ahead and moving on to layer three. For layer three, we're gonna go ahead and start off by taking our dark oak wood stairs. We're gonna place down a row of three across the dark oak wood top slabs and dark oak wood stair up here in the front. On both sides of this row of three, we're gonna place down an upside down dark oak wood stair on both sides. Coming off the backs of these stairs, we're gonna place down an item frame. Come off the back sides of both these blocks, followed by a sign that's going to uh, basically you know, go ahead and go on the side of the, the back of the stair as well. Again, on both sides like that for the front headlights. After that's done, we're going to take green stained clay, place down a row of three across, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair. On both sides, that's going to connect up with the stair from the uh, up here in the front, so it's going to complete the fender. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down another row of three, a green stained clay across the middle. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a shulker box, and we're going to place down a shulker box on these two dark oak wood top slabs. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down another row of three, green stained clay followed by a dark oak with top slab again both sides um, once that's done a narrow row of three um, across the middle followed by a dark oak with upside down stair on both sides of this row of three going ahead and continuing on we're to place down a, another row of three green stained clay across the middle followed by a shulker box on both sides continuing on we're to place down a narrow row of three across the middle followed by a dark oak with top slab on both sides we're going to place down a narrow row of three green stained clay across the middle here, followed by again a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides. Once that's done, uh, coming to the back here, it starts to get a little bit different. So over here on the uh, right side, or sorry, the left side, we're going to place down a uh, wooden trap door, followed by an item frame. And in this item frame, we're going to want to grab ourselves a red stained sting glass block. We're going to place down a red stained glass block in the item frame, followed by a sign as well, coming off the wooden trap door like that for the brake, for the brake light. We're also going to go, want to go ahead and place down a green stained clay block here in the middle, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides of that green stained clay block. And over here to the um, left side here, we're going to go ahead and place down 
uh, two shulker boxes that are going to be going ahead and kind of coming together like that, coming off this dark oak wood stair, so it should look something like this. And we also want to place down a zombie head, coming off the first shulker box to the side like that. Uh, for the back here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood um, upside down stair that's going to be facing this direction like so, come off the mossy cobblestone wall to the right side there. We then want to place down an upside down quartz stair to the side of it, and a birchwood corner stair come off the upside down quartz stair, just like that for the back. Once that's all complete, that is going to do it for layer three. And with that, we can move on to layer two, uh, sorry, four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood fence post on top of these two dark oak wood upside down stairs. Come off the fence post to the side, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood fence gate, which we're gonna open up toward the rear like that. Same thing over here on this side. So just like this with the fence gates. On the uh, front of the fence gates, basically, I should say more like the side. Uh, we, the, basically the side that it's opened up toward, we're going to place down a sign here on both sides like that and that's going to kind of do it there for our side mirrors. After that's done, in the center here of this green, this green stain clay block, we're going to place down a spruce wood stair up like this, followed by a zombie head at about a, you know, 30 degree, kind of slight angle like that on both sides, um, so something like that. Continuing on, we're going to place down a row of three green stain clay across behind these uh, dark oak wood, uh, or sorry, this uh, spruce wood stair and the zombie heads. We then want to place down an additional uh, three more rows, so one, two, and three back. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood stairs across. Um, on both sides here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves spruce wood slabs, place down one and two spruce wood slabs um, back, so starting on the shulker box and going back like that. We then want to go ahead and place down a redstone repeater on top of this uh, dark oak wood upside down stair here over the fender and flip it flip the uh, little notches out as far as they can go out to the sides. We're then going to place down a zombie head on these two dark oak wood upside down stairs, followed by uh, one and two spruce wood slabs back again like that. When we get back to this section here, come off the center stair, we're going to place down two spruce wood slabs that go back like this on uh, the green stained clay and um, mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to place down uh, some zombie heads as well, so just like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab green carpet, place it down on top of these two dark oak wood ups down stairs. And lastly for this layer, we're going to take some stone pressure plates and place down a row of three across the three um, stairs here on the back like that to go ahead and complete the vents. Once that's all done, that's going to do it for layer four. With that, let's move on to layer five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We're going ahead and move on to layer uh, five. For layer five, we're going to place down a green stain clay block on top of this right here, right here after this uh, spruce wood stair. Coming off the uh, green stain clay block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab followed by a sandstone top slab which is going to have a sign on both sides of it we then want to place down an additional dark oak with top slab followed by a second dark oak with top slab going toward the front and a sign on both sides of the second dark oak with top slab like that once that's done we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of these two green stain clay blocks and we're also going to place down a sign coming off this mossy cobblestone wall over here on the right side over here on the left side we're going to place down a end rod for the coaxial 7.62 millimeter machine gun Continuing on, we're going to place down another row of three of green stained clay across. Uh, we also want to go ahead and go to the mossy cobblestone walls and on both sides, we're going to place down a dark oak, or sorry, another brick stair like this on both sides. Coming off the another brick stair toward the front, we're going to place down a, or a wither skeleton skull on both sides, and then we want to go ahead and also place down a sign on both sides of these another brick stairs. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to grab ourselves a tripwire hook. We're going to place down a tripwire hook on both sides of this row of three of green stained clay followed by a second row of three of green stained clay after that with again a tripwire hook on both sides. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a green stained clay block in the middle, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides, an additional green stained clay block back, and another mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. Um, also in the back here, we're just going to place down a sign on this green stained clay block, just like that on the back of a turret. Once that's all done, that is going to do it for uh, layer 5, and with that we'll move on to our last final layers here, which can be basically layers uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We're going to put the uh, top of the turret on and the antennas and pretty much finish this thing all up. With that, let's move on to our last final layers. Alright guys, moving on to our last final layers, we have layers 6 through 10. To begin with, we're going to start off on the front here, we're going to place down a wooden trap door on top of this dark oak with top slab. Going back from the wooden trap door, we're going to place down a green carpet. On top of this uh, second dark oak with top slab back, we're going to place down another green carpet like that. We then want to place down a dark oak wood slab, followed by an iron frame coming off the front of this slab, and also a uh, glass block in the iron frame like that. On both sides of the slab, we're going to place down a zombie head that's going to be at a slight uh, angle 
just like this, probably about a 30 degree angle like that on both sides there. Um, once that's done, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves an iron trap door and place these on top of these two nether brick stairs. Continuing on, we're to place down a row of one, two, three uh, dark oak wood slabs back like that for the center line here. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a spruce wood slab, place down a spruce wood slab on both sides of the second dark oak wood slab. We then want to grab a zombie head, place down the zombie head on the uh, green stink wood block here on both sides, followed by a zombie head at about a slight kind of like 30 degree angle. Same thing over here. So like that. And then on the back here, we're just going to place down a zombie head perfectly straight on that green stinkway block. Once that's all finished, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, iron bars. Place down one, two, three, and four iron bars up from this zombie head. And same thing over here. Going to uh, the uh, spruce wood slab here. We're going to place down a zombie head that kind of comes off of it to the side there. And we're going to place down one, two, three, and four iron bars up as well. Once that's all done, that's going to pretty much do it for the Alvis fv 601 saladin uh overall a really cool uh looking uh vehicle and hopefully you guys do enjoy it anyways if you guys do use this design i do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. this being thing from a silent build tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear in any social media sites um as long as i get credit for it you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on and um you know overall enjoy the build Again, a special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this video possible, and feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, link is down in the description. And that, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and until um, next time, uh, this has been your 2 4 and I'll see you guys next time.